Hi everybody, Logan Jr. Chef here, and today I will be showing you how to make a recipe from Thomas Keller's book, Ad Hoc at Home. Now, believe it or not, this copy is, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, signed by Chef himself. Now, this is all possible from Kenshin Cutlery, the makers of this phenomenal knife. Also, notice what Thomas Keller was his signature on the back, isn't that cool? <laughs> now, oh yeah, and also the signature on the pin. Really cool. So, I'll be using this knife throughout the video. And with that, let's get started. So the first step is to make this um, garlic aioli. Now, for those of you who don't know, aioli is just a fancy word for mayonnaise. Now, Chef Thomas Keller does not want us to just use mayonnaise because uh, that, that's, that's way too easy. Instead, we will be making our own aioli. First step, egg yolks. These are four egg yolks going in my blender. Here we go. Boom. Now I'm going to turn this on low. Let's get it started. Now I'm going to slowly add in my garlic infused oil. This is two cups. See whipping. Oh, there we go. You start to see it getting a lot, lot lighter in color, also a lot fluffier in texture. Really working. Start to see it becoming even lighter in color. And some more. Let's see. I'm kind of done on the oil, so I'm going to add in my seasoning. This is going to be salt. And that's pepper. <laughs> a little bit of salt. I'm using some Himalayan pink salt. Um, I just kind of like the flavor of it. Now the lemon juice is really going to brighten up the flavors and should also kind of give it a much better texture. So that's, um, about turning it up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give it a little stir here. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, I like that texture. Uh, I'm gonna try and mix it up again one more time, but as you can tell, it really has the texture of mayo. Beautiful, really creamy. Um, I'm gonna give it a small taste here. Mmm, really good, really creamy. Mmm. Oh. Now let's try and mix it back up. Okay. Well, I'm calling that done. Um, a little bit of oil left over, but uh, I'm gonna use that later. Um, pretty sure my aioli's done. So we can move on to the next part of the recipe. It's time to make the salad dressing. So we're gonna start with our one cup of aioli, which we have finished making. So we're just gonna spoon that in. You can see that it just got a lovely, lovely texture. Uh, really beautifully thick and creamy. And Almost got it all. There we go. Next, we are going to add in our creme fraiche. This is one half cup creme fraiche. 
There we go. And then we're going to add in our half cup of butter. Just gonna give that a little mix and then we're gonna add in our seasoning. This is our garlic pepper or garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. Just gonna add that right in. A little mix. Next, move these out of the way. All the way out of the way. Now, it's time for the fun part. We're gonna add in our herbs. Now we're gonna start with some chives here. These are going to be smoothed. Let's try this. Oh, so fragrant. So, I'm gonna take these, add them in. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Next, we're gonna take in our uh, parsley. Make parsley here. We're gonna do the same thing. Ah, oh, look at that cut. Should be pretty good. Maybe another cut the other way. Oh, yeah. And kaboom, kabam, our fresh herbs are in. Now I'm going to take my whisk here and scrape this guy off. I'm gonna whisk it up. I'm gonna try and get that really good texture. One of the key things with whisking is to really try and use your wrist, your wrist, and not your entire arm. This way you can whisk for a lot longer. And oh, look at that beautiful texture. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, it also starts to smell really good. Now next we're gonna add in our blue cheese. Now here I just have some blue cheese. And we're gonna crumble it. So I'm just kind of getting a nice amount. You know, this is kind of one of those moments when you can go by taste on the amount of blue cheese you want. You know, some people blue cheese is very strong, you know, not quite their favorite, but I tend to like it a lot, so I'm gonna add in a nice amount. Boom, blue cheese trumbles. Uh, <laughs> supposed to be point raised. Um, this is actually a point raised cheese and the recipe calls for uh, one and a half cups but I'm gonna keep it a little bit lower. That seems like a lot of blue cheese for me. <laughs> and oh, perfect. <laughs> now that our salad dressing. Oh, oh so beautiful. Now, I'm gonna put this up, and we're gonna move on to the final step. All right, so I'm gonna give this a taste. Mm. Could probably use some more blue cheese and a little bit of lemon juice. So I'm gonna add in the lemon juice. There we go. And I'm gonna add in some more blue cheese. Wasn't quite blue cheesy enough. More blue cheese. Oh, just look at this blue cheesy goodness. Boom. Now we're gonna whisk this up. Oh, look at that color. So pretty. Yeah. One more time here. Consistency. Just perfect for salad. Now, um, give it another taste here. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. That's just mm, off the chain. Oh man, that, that's. Mm. You know, when you get something so simple yet done so well, where everything's just perfectly balanced together. And you just get that oh, moment. 
that says. All right, so now that we have our salad dressing done, it's finally time to plate up the dish. And we're gonna take our iceberg lettuce here. Um, I got a small head, and we're gonna cut it in half. Is that nice? Nice cut. And uh, since I'm in the mood for something a bit more of a wedge, I'm gonna cut them into a quarter again. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, smells so good. So I'm gonna do two quarters, something like that. And then uh, I'll save that for later. And next we're going to add in our bacon. Now this is just some just baked bacon. Should be pretty crispy. Just gonna sprinkle it on there. Delicious. Next, we're going to add in our <laughs> oven preserved um, or oven dried tomatoes. So, with uh, some extra time, I'm a massive fan of time. I love it. So let's add in another one. All right. Next, we have our croutons. These are our baked brioche croutons. Um, you know, just brioche bread turned into croutons. Pretty simple, straightforward. You know, nothing too hard there. And finally, the time for the blue cheese dressing. Teaspoonful. And ready for the drizzle? Look at that. Look at the beautiful flow. Oh, phenomenal. Another spoonful, and kaboom, kabam, there you have it. How to make a super amazing, delicious, and downright perfect blue cheese salad. Uh, time to enjoy. And this is all possible by Kang Shang Cutlery, the makers of this phenomenal knife, and Thomas Keller, who partnered with them. And I got the book with the signature. It's phenomenal. And so you can go check out Ad Hoc at Home. You know, taste it up. Really good stuff. Really enjoyed it. Um, so that's about it. Bon appetit. Enjoy. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Oh. Uh,